So this video doesn't really need an intro, but the one thing I can say is if you do recreate any of these DIYs, have fun and be creative. So let's get started. For the first DIY, you'll need a clear ornament and any kind of confetti or glitter you can get your hands on. If you can't find any confetti, you can use regular cellophane sheet or a roll to cut it up into tiny pieces. Start by removing the top from your ornament. Then roll a piece of paper into a funnel and decide if you need to widen the tip. If you do, go ahead and cut it. Open your bag of confetti and put your funnel into the top of the ornament and start to pour the confetti in. the confetti gets stuck, use the eraser end of a pencil to shove the confetti through. I can't imagine that you would have the same problem with the glitter. When your ornament is full, put the top back on. And you're done. For the next DIY, you'll need a styrofoam ball, a snowflake paper punch, you can use any size, different color paper, long pins that you would use for sewing, Mod Podge, and string. Start by punching out a bunch of snowflakes with your paper punch. You'll need a lot if you're using a smaller sized punch. Once you have them punched out, you can take a pin and push it into the center of the snowflake to make a hole, but make sure you're doing this on a surface that you won't destroy. I did the rest of these on a magazine. Once you have your hole, go ahead and push the pin all the way through. Please try to be very careful not to poke yourself. For the first pin, you want to tie some string on it so that you'll be able to hang it on your tree. Once you have all the snowflakes on the pins, you're ready to start putting them onto the ball. Dip the tip of the pin into some Mod Podge, then stick the pin into the styrofoam ball. You can do this in a very random order, or you can create a pattern with the snowflakes. It's all up to how you feel. I started with a pattern, then filled the spaces between. And you're done! For the next DIY, you'll need paper mache cones that you can find at your local craft store, Mod Podge and a sponge brush, and foil confetti. If you can't find this, get foil sheets and cut them up into tiny pieces. Brush some Mod Podge onto the paper mache cone and then sprinkle the confetti onto it. You can also use glitter as an alternative. You can do this in sections as well so that the glue doesn't dry up. Once it's fully covered, you can go back and fill in any spots that you may have missed. I think the red and green tree is my favorite one. And you're done! For the last DIY, you'll need a plastic cup, hard coat Mod Podge, a balloon, and a sponge brush. I decided to bring back one of my most watched DIY projects, the confetti bowl. I just wanted to update it a bit by using hard coat Mod Podge instead of just a regular Mod Podge. It does hold a lot better with the hard coat. I did three layers and let it dry overnight. I'm not going to show the entire process of this, but I will put a link in the video as well as in the description down below to the full tutorial. Make sure you check to see if it's dry before you pop the balloon. And the way to do this is if you see a lot of white on the inside of the bowl, don't pop it yet. When you see more clear than white, go ahead and pop it. And you're done! Thanks so much for watching my newest video. If you liked it, let me know and check back soon for some more videos. Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. See you again soon! Bye!